Reliance Jio could become the first company in India to provide internet services via satellite. But before everything else, we need to understand why do we even need a satellite internet? Hello everyone, I'm of a Fiber by India today and before we get to the rest of the news, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. So as we all know, high speed internet connection is typically delivered via optical fiber while 30% of it is approximately covered by 5G services while the rest being 4G services which is almost available everywhere. Now in large cities and towns, 5G services or 4G services or optical fiber are pretty common. But what about the rural areas? Because as soon as you move out from the big cities and move into the rural areas, optical fiber internet connection becomes less and less common. Now according to Telecom Talk, by May 2021, only 1% of India was covered by optical fiber and globally it was only around 30%. And looking at this, in such a scenario, opportunities open up for satellite internet because it can provide internet from any large tower. Now let me explain you how this works. So satellite internet works similarly to satellite TV. It begins with an internet service provider sending a satellite into space which orbits around the Earth. The ISP then routes the signal through one of the satellites which can be in low or high Earth orbit and a receiver dish picks up this signal. This receiver is usually placed at your home or business in a location with a clear view of the sky. Of course, you'd need uh, electricity to keep the receiver dish powered. And uh, again, as I said, you would need a clear view of the sky, but uh, that is all that is necessary. So satellite internet does not require cable wires, fiber or phone lines. Now, ground-based technologies are not well developed in rural areas because the low population density means that internet providers have to spend more money to cover larger areas to bring the same number of households online. Now, satellite internet uh, sidesteps this problem altogether because it skips uh, ground-laid infrastructure. So yes, launching satellites into space is expensive. However, once a sufficient network is available, companies can offer broadband and satellite internet to wide overlays of the planet even in very remote places. Now Mukesh Ambani has taken the lead for providing satellite internet in India. So according to a report by Reuters, Reliance Geo's platforms and uh, Europe's Luxembourg-based company's SES's joint venture have received approval to provide gigabit services in India. Reuters also reported that a government official said Orbit Connect India has been approved to operate satellites in Indian skies. Now at this point, Orbit Connect India has already received three types of approvals while companies like Kuiper and Starlink by Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk respectively are still waiting for approvals to start internet services in India. Now, according to reports, InSpace granted this approval to Orbit Connect India for providing high-speed internet between April and June. This means that the company can now operate satellites, but it needs a few more approvals from the Department of Telecommunications to start work. InSpace chairman Pavan Goenka told Reuters that uh, Imarsat has also been approved to operate satellites in India and uh, Starlink and Jeff Bezos' Quipper have also applied for approval. Utilsat's uh, Bharat the enterprises based uh, company OneWeb was also approved at the end of last year. But yes guys, that's about it for this video. What are your thoughts about satellite internet connectivity finally seeing the light of day in India? Let me know everything in the comments below and as always for all the latest in tech stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.